welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle content, beauty content, fashion content, you name it content, and I would love to have you a part of our little community here, so be sure to subscribe below and tick the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. So today's video is actually going to be documenting my most favorite food I have ever made in my entire life, and it is buffalo cauliflower bites. You heard that right. It's basically buffalo wings with cauliflower instead. Almost guilt-free, delicious, amazing in every, in every way. They're just amazing. And I have had so many requests for this video. I've had so many people ask me for the recipe. I've made some minor tweaks since I've done it so many times. I just love this recipe and it is perfect for being able to just whip something up if we're going to a party or whip something up to have around the house on the weekends or whatever. You guys are gonna die. It's just the best recipe that I have ever made and you are gonna love it too. It will become a staple in your household, I promise. So this recipe is on the healthier side. However, I will list below a couple modifications if you guys wanna be able to have this recipe while on your Optivia plan. I am currently on the five in one plan and I will put the modifications below if that's something that you wanna do, but I will go ahead ahead and show you the recipe the way that I've made it for a year or so now and I'm telling you this thing is so good once you try it you'll never go back so let's get started here is what you're going to need to complete this recipe so obviously number one you're gonna need cauliflower so normally I end up getting about three heads of cauliflower but I prefer to get them pre-packaged in bags like this it just makes the cutting chopping process so much easier so I get the cauliflower floret bags from Target I get three bags of them and normally I think I think each one of these bags is equal to a head of cauliflower, give or take. So we've got three bags of our packaged cauliflower. I get these from Target. I find that to be the best ratio. We've got Himalayan pink salt and pepper. You can use just regular salt and pepper, whichever is easiest for you. You are going to need Frank's Red Hot, original Red Hot. This is super important. This makes the recipe. So this is super yummy. I get a big, big thing of it just because I make these buffalo cauliflower bites all the time. So this is super important. You're gonna need regular all-purpose flour. You can also get any other kind of flour that you like. This is just the kind that I use. You need lemon juice. You're gonna need unsalted butter, paprika, garlic powder, and ranch on the side. And once again, I think you need the good stuff, the real stuff. I've tried knockoff brands. I've tried the low fat ranch, just not a fan. You need the regular ranch. In order to make this recipe, you're gonna need two sheet pans lined with parchment paper, a smaller mixing bowl, a larger mixing bowl with a whisk, a larger spoon, a big knife, and then I honestly can't tell you what these are called. I'm gonna call it a paintbrush. I'm sure there's a better name for this, but it's basically a food paintbrush and then a cutting board. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set our oven to 450. Okay, next up we need to make our batter. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of water. We do equal parts flour, so we're gonna do one and a half cups of flour. We're gonna do six teaspoons of garlic powder. And three teaspoons of paprika. Then we're gonna whisk our batter together. I'm gonna whisk this and I'll show you what it should look like when you're done. Once you're done with your batter, it should have a nice consistency like that. And then we're gonna set this aside for now. Next up, we need to start chopping our cauliflower. So I'm gonna start on the first bag and when they come out of the bag, they are pretty big like this. So you're gonna go ahead and chop them so that they're a little bit smaller of a piece bite size like this. So I took off the stem and then I have a much smaller piece to work with so that it's more easy to eat and fun to eat. As I have each piece done bite size, I'm just gonna throw it into my batter and keep on going. Once 
we're done chopping all of the cauliflower. It's in our bowl with the batter and we're gonna start mixing to coat it. And you wanna make sure every single piece has an even coating of the batter. So I will do this really quick so that you guys can see what it should look like when you're done. Okay, so all of our cauliflower is evenly coated in the batter. This is what it should look like. And then next up, we're gonna transfer our cauliflower onto our lined parchment paper sheet pans. So you're gonna use your hands for this. It's gonna get a little bit messy, but you need to take each piece of the cauliflower and lay it out on the sheet pan like so. Try to not have them touch too much but spread out evenly all across the sheet pan, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so our cauliflower is spread out evenly on both of our sheet pans like that. And then before they go into the oven, we're gonna sprinkle salt and pepper all over them just so that they can get evenly seasoned. our cauliflower is completely spread out on our pans, it's coated in the batter and it's seasoned, we're gonna pop it in the oven. Here's where it gets a little time consuming. We have to pop these in the oven three different times for 15 minutes a piece. The reason being is we are not gonna be frying these buffalo cauliflower. We're not going to be putting them in grease or anything like that. We just need to do separate time increments of 15 minutes a piece so that they can properly cook well and the batter can create this delicious coating on the outside. Trust me, it'll be worth it. I know it takes a little bit longer than you would normally think, but it is so worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven for 15 minutes to start at 450. up the camera. All right, so they've been in for 15 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and flip each one of the cauliflower bites onto its other side and then put it back in for 15 more minutes. When you finish flipping them over, they're gonna have a little bit of a pattern on the other side, but that's just from the parchment paper. So we've got all the buffalo cauliflower flipped now. Buffalo cauliflower have gone in for their second round of baking and we have three rounds all together. But before we put them in for a third round, we need to go ahead and make our buffalo sauce. So we're gonna whip that up really quick and then when they come out after 15 minutes of baking in here, we're gonna spread the sauce all over them and have them bake another round of 15 minutes and then they'll be done and I am so excited. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do four tablespoons of butter. and then one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the microwave with a towel over the top just so that it doesn't splatter everywhere and just make sure that it's melted. So probably about like 15 seconds, I would say. Depends on how cold your butter is. Looks like that did the trick. We just want everything to be as combined as it can be. All right, I'm just gonna mix this together a little bit more with a fork. Perfect, and then we need to add our Red Hot. All right, one and a half cups of the Red Hot. And then we're gonna whisk all of this together with our fork. And then this is what it should look like once you're done. We're gonna set this to the side so that when the cauliflower comes out, it is ready to go. All right, they're almost done. All 
All right, so our buffalo cauliflower has been in for two rounds of 15 minutes, 30 minutes all together. We've got our buffalo sauce right here all mixed together. And then now we're gonna go ahead and take our food paintbrush, whatever you call this, <laughs> and we're gonna dip inside the buffalo sauce and then evenly coat the sauce on top of each one of the cauliflower. I'll show you what the final product looks like. All right, we are all evenly coated on our buffalo cauliflower with the buffalo sauce. And then we're gonna place these in the oven for one more round of 15 minutes. Looking good. All right, guys, that was our third round of 15 minutes. Don't worry, they're not burnt. That's just the sauce that didn't make it on the cauliflower. We're gonna let these cool for, I don't know, probably like 10, 15 minutes or so, and then we will dig in. All right, guys, the buffalo cauliflower has finished cooling. I've gone ahead and plated it with our ranch, and oh my God. This looks so good. It smells so good too. I wish you guys could smell it. And for the part we've all been waiting for, we have to try one because how do we know if it's good? Okay, I like the little baby ones the best. So I'm gonna dip mine in my ranch and bon appetit. You guys, I think I might like this more than regular buffalo wings. Actually, I definitely like these better than buffalo wings. These are so good. And they're on the healthier side too, obviously. I mean, it's cauliflower. You guys saw all of the ingredients. It's very much a healthy version of buffalo wings and perfect for an appetizer. I'll tell you right now, the best thing I do with these is I will pack this up and bring this to any event that I go to. And any event that I go to, everybody kind of just knows Ashley's bringing the buffalo cauliflower and it's right when I put it out at an event, it's gone in like probably 10 minutes. So good. You guys have to try this. All right guys, that's gonna do it for our buffalo cauliflower bite recipe today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like down below and then also comment below if you try the buffalo cauliflower bites as well as any other videos you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you join our little community. Be sure to subscribe down below as well as tick the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload. I hope you all are staying safe and staying healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.